of course, you don't want to launch a website and have some kind of issue with it. There's also some major SEO considerations whenever you do a redesign. So we're going to talk about those and then we'll have time for Q&A at the end. We'll have maybe five to 10 minutes of dedicated uh, Q&A time. If anyone has questions, feel free anytime, put in questions, please. So the testing approach. So you for sure want to test for your target browsers. Um, of course, you're not going to be going way back in time to like Internet Explorer 7 or something, but look at your analytics, see what are the browsers, what are the devices people are coming to our site on? You know, if 75% of your traffic is mobile, you better make sure you've tested your site for mobile and it works really, really well. Test the responsiveness. That means the different types of screen sizes, what is technically called viewport. So a desktop computer versus a tablet versus a phone all have dramatically different aspect ratios. And now the, I mean, now what we do is we don't develop different versions for each thing. What we have, what's called responsive programming. So that site responds to the device and automatically, you know, looks good. So test that for sure. And it's basically almost impossible to do good thorough testing without some kind of tool. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully your developer has a tool or you can get some kind of tool because the amount of testing to make sure everything works kind of perfectly is quite, quite a bit. So we use something called Sauce Labs. That's our personal tool that we use on all of our redesign projects. So Sauce Labs is sort of a virtual online computer where we can say, give me a 15 inch laptop with, with you know, Edge 7 and, and IE10 and Chrome 70 on it or whatever. And I want this screen resolution. We can literally launch a virtual computer and literally use the site, click around and make sure it works. So that's a lot better. Um, some tools, probably the ones you would have access to for cheap or free, just kind of pull up what it looks like, but you can't click around. And different browsers, the functionality can be different. If some, something, some mistake was made in development, you can catch it with these tools. And for sure, check the performance of your site. Um, the speed of the site and desktop and mobile has a huge impact on your SEO and how visible Google is gonna make your site in the search engines. Google does not want to send visitors and searchers in their search engine to sites that are slow and don't work well. So before it launches, test the speed. A thing that I've seen happen is people will have an old kind of plain site. Maybe they didn't have a lot of money. They didn't have a budget. Now they have a much bigger budget. They want a real beautiful graphical design site that, that's really cool looking. Those can, if they're not developed right, can be incredibly slow. They can just... They can look nice, but take forever to load, and that will severely harm uh, their SEO performance of your site. So this is a free tool from Google called PageSpeed Insights. This is a redesign we did. And as you see, the homepage is scoring 93, which is amazing. It goes from zero to 100. So if you're in the 90s for desktop and you know in the 70s or higher for mobile, that's phenomenal. You have no issues. Accessibility, we talked a little bit about that for sure before your site launches. Test it for accessibility. This is that same website I just showed you, and we run it through the WAVE tool. This is a tool that we use for our accessibility audits and testing. As you can see, their homepage has zero accessibility errors and zero contrast errors, and the rest of those things are just different features and alerts and things to pay attention to just to double check, but there's no issues. So very fast website, zero accessibility issues. That's what you want when you launch your redesign. Another thing with testing and launching, there are some SEO considerations. So Google has been crawling your old site. Google understands your old site well. All of a sudden you launch a completely new one. You don't wanna confuse Google. You wanna make sure Google understands how to also crawl the new site. And you also wanna make sure incoming links, links you may have in your ads, links you may have in social media posts, um, paid links, links from other websites, all of those links, if those pages or content have moved around, you need to redirect those old links, which you, you're not going to go out and change every old link on the internet, you know, to reflect some new place. So you have to put in 301 redirects. That's a big part of our Q&A when we launch a redesign is making sure that any old link or anything out there will come to the site and find its way to the new location. This can also highly impact your SEO and your Google performance. If Google hits your site, and your sitemap file's old, or there's all these other links leading to your site and they all 404, you know, the more errors you have on your site, the more crawl errors that impacts your SEO. 
let's switch poll here quick. Um, so, so yeah, it looks like 0% of you have done an accessibility audit. So look for that email. It's going to have information in there about it. Um, so you want to do that. You want to review your metadata. That's the meta title, meta description. So that's code behind the scenes a user doesn't see. That's not the title on the page users see. It's behind the scenes. And that is what Google reads. And if they're done well, that is what you will see in a search engine. The, the link and the little piece of text you know, for each search result that is controlled by the metadata. And if you do it right, Google will use your metadata and that can be incredibly powerful for making sure people, when they see you in a search engine, they click through and visit your site. So you wanna do a final audit of all that SEO stuff for sure before you launch.